guys, it's Sarah from All Coming Best Ladies. So we've been currently in a sell-off, I would say. People are taking profits and it's totally understandable. Some of the coins have been booming and it's always good to take some profits and this is a healthy grow. I think it's much better than being in a bull run like we were in December or January. But I'm not gonna talk too much about it today. Check out my videos about Google Trends. I've made it recently and I give my opinion about the money currently coming in. Let's just have a look who's been killing it today. So we've got Bitcoin Private, Decentraland, Ontology, Dendacoin and Digibyte. To all of you guys holding it, I mean congrats to you because you're definitely on a plus with your investments. It's um, Bitcoin Private, I've got my own opinion about it and just basically Bitcoin forks and stuff like that. I might make a video about it actually one day. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about Cardano. It's uh, here I've got the past events. But the reason I'm gonna talk about them is because even though they're past, the reason it took me so long is the videos they've uploaded on their Twitter and on their website. One of them is 45 minutes long and I wanted to analyze it as much as I could and put it in a way that a noob would understand basically without being disrespectful to anyone. So I'm gonna talk about the latest testnet launch as well as them solving the proof of stake. Why am I talking about solving proof of stake? Basically, Charles Hoskinson, which hasn't even got a ticker by his name on Twitter, which is absolutely ridiculous because so many scam accounts do have a ticker and he hasn't got a verified account. So Charles Hoskinson tweeted last week that the IOHK team had solved the most stealing problem of proof of stake algorithm and that's its security. In the video over here, we can see Professor Kayais apologies if I'm saying it wrong, um, explain the breakthrough at the IOHK blockchain technology lab. You've also got a link here to the article where you can read it a bit more into detail, which is a bit of a summary as well of it. So according to the professor, new users coming into the blockchain do not need any previous knowledge on the number of active users in the system. This was always the problem of proof of stake because it made it vulnerable to security issues. Given that saying proof of stake is way better than proof of work in terms of scalability, this advancement is a big breakthrough for Cardano. It essentially makes Cardano one of the most scalable and secure smart contract blockchains in the market. One that is apart with Bitcoin in terms of security. From this super long and extremely informative video, lecture actually, you can tell that the Cardano team is way beyond the hype. They are focused on making Cardano the best platform available, not on just making headlines, basically. They're not trying to be drawn without being disrespectful, basically. This reflects in the manner in which the IOHK team is working on creating a light wallet. That's after complaints amongst Cardano users regarding the user friendliness of the Cardano wallet. The team is aware that cryptography needs uh, to advance for there to be a truly light wallet that requires a partial chain for it to run effectively. But that's the hallmark of a team that runs on the science philosophy. So I highly recommend you guys. It's on Charles Twitter. You can watch the whole video. It's it's quite, it's like Cardano basically. It's very technical. Um, but I'm gonna get onto my other point about Cardano and that is their testnet launch. So Gerard Moroni, which is a project manager at IOHK, gave some details about the upcoming updates on Cardano smart contracts which you can watch in this video over here. He explained about a, a project named Guggen. So Guggen is basically designed to increase the existing capabilities, Cardano smart contracts. The team will be creating a new computational layer on which the smart contract will be executed. So there is lots of innovative features in Guggen, such as, so we've got sidechains, accounting, multi-currency, Plutus, Marlowe, IOLE, end users, developers. At present, the team has completed research in accounting, multi-currency and sidechains. Engineering for Plutus is, as, is also completed. They have released the version 1.2 of Marlowe along with its academic paper. The first version of ILA uh, VM has been finished. They are working on a solidity to ILA translator now. 
the Ethereum Classic client called Adapt Mantis, produced by IOHK to work with ILEVM and KEVM has been developed. So during the first testnet, KEVM will be released. KEVM is a stack-based machine, which is an executable form of semantics at the Ethereum vir virtual machine. EOS's K and K framework allows the developers to understand the practical application of formal semantics by interacting with the virtual machine and executing Solidity contracts. The first testnet will be live on 28th May of 2018. Gerard mentioned that this will certainly help all the developers build better software in the future. So I know this was quite brief explanation, so I highly recommend to you guys to watch the video. It's also available on Charles's Twitter. He basically posts everything, including his travels, which I think is the sweetest thing in the world. They also um, had the meetup in London. They do them at the end of every month, I'm pretty, pretty sure. And yeah, guys, let's have a look actually how Cardano is performing today. So we've got Cardano. Uh, it's currently up. So I'm really pleased I'm making this video this time. It's always good when it's in green. So it's been up 15% in the last week, currently trading at 35 cents. So guys, let me know, have you heard of those news? Do you follow in such a technical manner Cardano? Because Cardano is, like I said, a very complicated project which has got loads of ideas, but not really a working product in such a way. And what do you guys think in general about it? Let me know if you hold on any. What do you think of it? And what is your prediction for the price for Cardano? I read somewhere a post saying it'll be $10 by the end of 2018, which I think is will be perfect. I would not complain if that was what happened, but I think we have to be realistic and pay attention to the total circulating supply and other factors that got some sort of influence on the total price. So guys, if you're yet to follow us on our YouTube, please do so. I'll come back later, just hit the subscribe button. Give me a like if you like this video, comment. Let me know what you thought of those updates and if you want me to go into much detail about some of them. And remember to watch all of our videos. We had Corey she, and we've got a Pixby video about her ICO review. She's absolutely killed it again. And follow me on my Twitter, all coins sorrow. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!